already, already. It is 15 degrees. Whew, what is up, guys? Welcome back. As you can see, it's uh, bright and early and a little bit chilly. Um, with the old man here. He's actually inside the bait shop right now getting... Honestly, I don't know what he's getting, but... Um, yeah, we're up early in the morning. We're uh, up here in South Dakota. Did a little up north send. And we're on a pretty tough mission today. All the fish up here right now, they're saying are shack shack. Which, uh, if you don't know what that is, if you have a truck, a shack, a tent, something like that, it's casting a shadow down on the water and the fish will all swim around you. They'll never come in and hit your bait. So, well, not never, but the vast majority of them won't come and they get skittish. And it's a real finicky bite right now. So we're out here to try to overcome that. We're hoping the early morning cloud cover and the fog and everything like that, we're gonna be able to do pretty decent. Uh, Hold on one sec. I think that's what it is. Yeah, you go in the state park. We're gonna try it for these crappies and perch, but you're more than welcome to join us if you want. Well, I'll, I'll keep my distance. I mean, I'm not gonna pile on top because it's like, they did pretty well there yesterday. I'm like, why wouldn't you go there today? Yeah. A little revamping, but I'll uh, Yeah, we're gonna stop at the gas station right here and then, right. yeah. I'll see you later. Thanks. Yep, no problem. But yeah, anyway, that's kind of the word on the street is. The bite was kind of there. The kids next to us did real good, so. We're out here today to figure it out, me and the old man. Right here, old man. And uh, <laughs> that is the plan on the agenda today. See if we can get some crappie and perch. We're even gonna try to use some hot dogs for some northerns. All right, as you can see, we're in a different sleeper shack. We're right next to the one we were at yesterday. Huge shout out to Dakota Backroads Outdoors. And uh, the guy was like, you know what? No one's here tomorrow. You can just come in this one tomorrow if you don't do any good in the other one. So we got some different baits, some real small tungstens. They're eating these water bugs and shrimp and stuff. And hopefully they're not shack shy this morning because right now there is no sun out. So these are scented little plastics. We'll start out like this and then once the sun gets a little higher, we're going to bounce outside, set some tip ups up for some northerns, use the old hot dogs and give her a go. We pulled up to Pan Optics. I didn't know. Sometimes in shallow water, people say that fish can feel it. We're only in three feet of water, so we pulled it up and we're just sight fishing down our holes. I got you, big guy. Nice. I got you. You came right for it. There's two of them. Okay. They should move through pretty good then. Real dick crappie. Nice. Old man's on the board. The old man instant. Oh, big old perch. Big old perch. He scared it? Nice thick crappie. This is kind of cool sight fishing him. Nice thick old crappie. Gonna throw him in the bucket. Yeah, we almost got the double. Big old fatty. Holy bejeebers. Real, real fat. That's a fat, thick crappie. Oh, yeah. Not super, super long. There's still way bigger ones in here. But this is kind of cool. Nice, thick crappie. Got him. Yep. This crappie didn't even care that the pike was there. Nice crappie. They're loving, I switched to this white jig and they're loving it. They're right behind you if you want one. This honestly is the smaller of the crappies but are still real thick. What'd you get? Oh, big old crappie? Hold on, let me see if there's more. Pick him up, pick him up. Just one? Okay. How big is he? Real thick, tall, yeah. We've only been here a couple minutes. We're picking them off pretty good. Oh, a giant pike. Jeez, that was a big pike. All right, ladies and gents, it's time. We're trying the old hot dog trick for Northerns. We've seen quite a few rolling through. Starting to get a little bit later in the day. So we're gonna try the old hot dog trick. All right, there's one. 
on the other one. I just have a single hook rig. So we're gonna try half a hot dog. We're gonna see if it works. I've always seen it. I've always wondered. It's time to figure out. A lot of northerns around here, so it very well could work pretty good. It's the other nice thing about using a hot dog. You know you ain't got a false flag if it goes off. And as you can see, it sits perfectly upright, unlike a frozen bait or a chub sometimes. Alright. Good luck, hot dog. Alright, just drilled another hole. Got another single rig, so we're gonna try another half a hot dog. We're gonna put this one a little bit lower. A little bit lower, just a smidge. Time to figure out if the hot dog trick works. Well, I stepped out of the shack. Old man got one on the, uh, what do you have down there, minnow? I had a little minnow on a jig, just letting it kind of swim around <laughs> below the hole. He just rocketed it. It's nice good looking little, northern. Nice little fish. Yeah. That was fun. Good work. Well, thanks. <laughs> It's first one on the jigging rod. We're gonna get them. We're gonna figure these out today. Honestly, this morning, if it would have been like this morning, all day today, oh, it would have been. It was good there for a while. Yeah. Hopefully it'll turn on again. It's kind of a weird overcasty day, so maybe when that sun peaks through, it might turn out, but I don't know. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go lay down in the snow. He's gonna hang out in here. I did set those tip ups out with the hot dog. And we got one right here with the dead chub because all our stuff is dead, but. Catch up with you on face down in the snow. had a pike. Oh, he broke me off. Pike. <sighs> he had it better the first time where it was just in his mouth. <laughs> well, that was kind of cool seeing him come in. Fish or something. Look crazy. at how much line he pulled out. We're only in three feet of water. Well, maybe it'll start to pick up. I don't wow. know. It's kind of fun out here. All right, here's the muddy pike going back down. Later, hey buddy. Oh, that was kind of cool. Hot dogs work. too. <laughs> That's a nice pike. Look at that big boy. Wow. I just had a perch. Oh, rat. Yeah. He smoked it out of nowhere. That's oh, a nice man. pike. My jig's in there and he didn't bite it off. Do you believe that? And I was actually able to get him through the hole by myself. Yeah. <laughs> that was. That's a good pike. Yeah. He came zipping through. Nice. I'm all let it go. Do you believe that? On that little jig. All right, let's go warm up. It's freaking yeah, cold. I got a flag up right there, but it's not spinning, so we're gonna take a break. I'm glad I caught him. Yeah, that's cool. Just <laughs> cross the hole. <laughs> well, maybe they'll start picking up. I tried a new jig. I caught him on this guy. Looks like a little shrimp. Oh yeah, that's what I'm using out there. That's what I had him on. I'm surprised you got him in by yourself with four pound line. I was too. Good work. Ah, oh, thanks. That was cool. And compared to yesterday, look at this. There's like no one out here. That's the shack where you're near. Oh, just as I say that, three snow bears pull up. There's like no one out here. There's where I'm fishing. No one else out here, barely. Got all wrapped 
on the hot dog. Really? Nice. It's all wrapped. Oh, I'll use a small one. <laughs> Northern on the hot dog again. All right, let's go warm up. Get him? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. On the old hot dog. Hot dog sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Not a Mondo, but bigger than the average out here. All right, y'all. Well, we're gonna call it quits. So good crappy, good northern. We got uh, we got enough eaters for a nice old meal. And uh, huge shout out to Dakota Backroads Outdoors for letting us use the shacks and the hot dogs. The hot dogs work. I think we got, what, like four pike on four them? Four pike, yeah, they outfish the chubs today. Yeah, they do work, so. That was kind of cool. I've always wanted to test that and had a good day. All in all? Yeah. Good work. Good day. We'll catch y'all in the kitchen. All right, and we are in the kitchen with the sash. What are we making today? Making some Rocky pizza. She came up with the idea and I was like, you know what? You don't really hear of a uh, fish pizza all that often. So we're here to give her a go. You guys seem to like the experiments in the kitchen. So do we, and lots of times they actually turn out fairly decent, so. All right, so we got to do a little bit of prep work, but honestly, we've been talking about it. Uh, we wanted to try the fish pizza. Drop a comment down below if you guys have ever made fish pizza. I really haven't heard of it, but we're like, you know what? We're gonna give her a go, so that's what we're here to do. And we're gonna take you all along with and see if it turns out good, I guess. All right, what's next, Ash? Time to crack the egg. All right, no Sorry. shell. No shells. Woo! Professional egg cracker. These are dried. Some peppers. Oh, yeah. I think this will actually turn out pretty good. The onion. Just a little bit of onion. Don't be crying over here. All right, that's what we got right now. She is working on the tomato. And the cheese. We are doing some cheddar and some mozzarella. Extra cheesy. Oh yeah. Some mozzarella cheese. And we're gonna add a little bit of a kick with some jalapeno. That is looking pretty good. We're gonna get to cooking the old fish and go with the montage. Give her a couple minutes, give her the flip, and then we got the second batch coming up. I'll give it to you. Looks very good. Yes, it does. Do you want a little bit? I might put a little bit more on my side. Put this in the fridge with some saran wrap, and we got some extras for our next time. Smells good. Yeehaw. <laughs> How's the fish coming along? The beer batter actually smells pretty good. Yeah. It's a good idea. Thanks, y'all. You guys were mentioning that in the comments quite a bit, so went out and got some beer batter. It smells pretty good. They'll cook more. Well, we can honestly throw them on top of the pizza when we put them in the oven too, so they'll cook a little bit more. Yeah. We like them extra crispy too, so it'll be perfect. We got another round of fish going in. Give her a couple minutes each side, throw her on the pizza, put her in the oven. Gourmet redneck edition pizza. Second round of fish going in. Gonna let those cook, a couple minutes each side. Gourmet. How's it looking, Sash? Ooh, crispy? Yeah. yeah. Get those in there, put them on the pizza. Honestly, we'll have a couple left over and we can just snack on too. 
probably throw the pizza in for, what, we don't got any meat in, so I don't know, what, eight minutes or something? Yeah. Something like that. Call her good. We're gonna be eating good. That is some juicy goodness right there. Good work, Sash. That was, that was a good idea. We're gonna throw her on top of the pizza, put her in the oven. Let her rip. Eight minutes. See how it looks from there. All right, we're gonna take a quick peek. Oh my golly. Yeah. Now that Ooh. looks good. Let's sit on my That looks tasty. Oh boy. Honestly, the fish is nice and crispy. God dang, you put a lot of cheese on there, girl. <laughs> I like the cheesy. All right, well, don't mind us. We're gonna dig in and fish pizza. All right, the crappy pizza and the finished product. You wanna go first or you want me to? Nope, sorry, ladies first. Give her a go. Still a little hot. You even got a piece of crappy in there. Yeah, good. Good? <laughs> Ooh, man. Oddly, oddly, very good. Can you really? Taste the pizza. It just, it actually goes together very well. First came up with the idea. I, honestly, my first response was like, ew, no. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know? All right, sure. And then it kind of slowly grew on us and we're like, all right, let's go for it. We had the perfect opportunity. We had the crappie. Uh, great size crappie, real thick crappie. And I love eating crappie. Anything through the ice is usually a lot better, but. Fish pizza. I know y'all probably were thinking that. What the heck? It is very good. Cheers. I think the crappie tastes like chicken. Really good with the pizza. I would make it again. One thing, maybe a slightly less amount of cheese. Never. <laughs> we love doing experiments in the kitchen. We just kind of mess around, come up with ideas, and sometimes it doesn't turn out the best. This one was definitely one for the book, so. All in all, fish pizza, highly recommend. Definitely gotta try it sometime. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that subscribe button. Try the fish pizza. We'll catch you on the next adventure. Have a good one. Peace.